A lot of you guys have been asking recently when we'd make our way back to Te Aoroa, and having visited, I think, now every other map that has gotten a backfilled species since the New England Mountains release, I thought we'd finally come out of here today and check it out. So, of course, the backfilled species to Te Aoroa is the Mallard. Probably not the most interesting, but a lot of you guys have said in the stream chats that they're actually all over the map, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they add to it. And straight away here, we do get to see quite a number of mallards. Now, they're already spooked, and we can see just how much faster they fly now than they used to. I don't think they're completely spooked, although it says defensive, they're kind of flying in circles. We're down towards the border of the map, so that could have something to do with it, but that's encouraging as we go forward. We're actually sort of at the very end of feral pig drink time. I wanted to go and see if we could find a couple of those. I know we didn't look at them at all when we came here following the reset and redistribution from Riven Tuli, so I thought we could kind of kill two birds with one stone and hunt for them here at the beginning. Looks like even still, we were a little bit late. Got a couple of pigs running off over there, though. We might just be able to slot a shot into that guy. Looks like we got him. Got about the best feral pig hunting gun we could get in the 308 today, of course, with the Te Aoroa camo. But I don't know that we're going to get to really hunt them in their drink time. That's the unfortunate thing. They still do drink from 3 to 6, so there's a very brief window where you can hunt them in the daylight. And unfortunately, in this hunt already, that window is behind us. But as for the one that we were able to get, it was a gold, actually. 100.3 got a liver and right lung shot in there. Not half bad. This is the variation of brown hybrid that I don't like as much, but still, solid start. But I guess one way or another, we can find them. Got a max wood estimate 4 up there. And I heard some mallards flying by again. They do seem to be pretty populated on this map. The problem is, I've not seen any just landed on the water yet, and while them being all over is fine, because they're much more difficult to hit out of the air, I don't foresee us shooting a bunch unless we see them on the water. And maybe I even should clarify that. We're not going to be setting up for mallards today. We're not going to have like the blind and the decoys and all that stuff. If we can get some out of the air or off the water, we'll definitely do that. But I think the main purpose here is to see what they add to the map without necessarily having to specifically target them. That's going to take forever <laughs> to float all the way back over here. But at least we have a feral pig to grab first. This is the brown hybrid I actually like better, so go figure. 122 score. Not half bad, right in the heart. I didn't even really try to do that, but we'll take it. And now we get to sit here patiently while the duck floats over. But officially, our first mallard on Te Aoroa is actually a kind of decent one. I think it went up to 19. Black browns are just the common plumage type, 17 score. Hit them sort of in the wing, but a little more square, like it actually contacted the wing. A lot of times in the screen, you'll get like the bullet path being up here, and it still took the duck down. So we'll take that 192 meters away. And let's see, we're going to, I think for now, try to stay maybe away from the river, because we'll come back here for fallow deer eventually. So maybe we'll try some of the lakes in other areas and see if there's ducks there. That's a positive sign. Got a mythical red deer up here. I always forget now that they drink from 6 to 10. So we have the opportunity to go after them as we wait. And this guy is not half bad. Got a feral goat coming out of there too. Should have been a lung shot and is. This might be a decent red deer lake for drink zones though. I don't know that we ever checked this one. Must have been at least a couple of zones because we got the mythical and there's that one over there. But let's see. This guy should have been probably upwards of 220, 230. And another decent one there at level 7. So a couple of max weight estimates too. But this guy is 223. Got him in the left lung at, actually it was 250 meters, a little further than intended, but did the job. And there were some mallards flying by up here too, so we've not yet been to a body of water where there's no ducks. Go figure. The first mallards we see actually landing are at probably the best red deer lake. Now we've been here, and we shot, if I remember right, like three or four max estimate stags, but you can see, they are just all along here, there's a big 7 there. There's so much going on, by the way, that we're dropping FPS. There was also, I think, a max estimate there and there. Like, they're all over the place, but I actually think, for the sake of this particular hunt, we'll probably go ahead and try to get the Mallards. We might go for both of those level 2s. 
I can't tell if maybe that one might be a brown hybrid. It looks a little dark to me. That'll get him and the other one. And there's even more flying over. So as far as like an assessment of the mallards, I thought kind of like I thought with geese on Yukon that they would just be there. And if you don't really care about duck hunting, that's just going to be the case. But if you are maybe interested in shooting them every now and then, they seem to be so frequent that you actually could have pretty decent success even without setting up a blind and decoys and all that. Now for the ducks, I thought one of them looked a little bit different. This one's black brown and I kind of think this was the one too that I thought maybe looked dark. I guess it was just in the shadows we couldn't really see the white feathers, but 16 scoring gold there and 14 scoring silver. Both of them were the common plumage type, but that is now, what, three mallards and to be honest, three more than I thought we'd get. I I think I may have forgotten to actually show where on the map that last lake was, but I also kind of think I might be wrong. The one next to it may actually be an even better red deer lake, but the two of them are so close together, you can typically just kind of lump them in as the same general area, but the amount of stags here is uh, staggering, you might say. There's just a ton of them all the way along, and this one's coming back, I think, or maybe even another one, because I spooked one coming around here. Just endless red deer. And I guess we'll go ahead and shoot this level 7 just for the sake of shooting something. And then we'll look on the map and see which lakes we are at. But that should be a long shot at about 300 meters. Not too bad. Do we want to... Yeah, I think we'll go back around this way. And then as for the lakes, it's these two here kind of in the northeast. Not the far northeast, but the two just west of there. And so between those two lakes we probably just saw in the area of 30 stags and shot exactly one but we're not necessarily here just for red deer anyway left long shot there at 297 209 score so not as big as the mythical obviously but i like that rack shape that's always been one of my favorites and the one that most often gets me when i think it's going to be a great one as for time now it's 8 30 i don't know when seek a deer drink on this map i think it may link up with fallow and be around 10 o'clock but We'll just kind of make our way through and see where we end up. You know, there's a very real chance that this female mallard will make gold. And it's a piebald, which is the exact thing I want for the coyote multi-mount. The thing is, we have to actually hit it. And they're calm right now. Maybe gonna land? Do we just wait this out? I'd rather get it out of the air, to be honest. But she's gonna hit down there, too. I mean... No complaints. We'll, we'll take the much easier route to get in this. That is undoubtedly a pie bolt. Just gotta make sure we can make the shot. It's... Did it land? It looks like it's way above the water, but maybe it's right at it. So 15.5, I think, is gold for them. That'll get it. Actually, should have thought this through. How are we gonna do that? Might have to take the plunge and try to get it on the way down, but we'll figure out a way. It just might take a while. I think what we'll also do is use the new binocular feature to mark where we're at, just so we can redo this if we need to, but I think it's about time to jump, and we'll see a little bit early. There we go, and it's a silver. I saw it. After all that, will it reload? into the harvest screen it used to. Okay, a little bit of an odd thing. We can't actually see it. What is the... 15.48? And it is 1.15 kilos, so I guess that makes sense. I really thought that we might have finally had our gold rare female mallard. But today is not that day. I hope this doesn't break things. Seems to be fine and... I guess we'll get on our way with the search for Seekadir. So getting back on track here, we can confirm Seekadir drink from 10 to 1300, and that's about as good a one as we've seen in quite some time. There's two fairly decent ones in here. This guy I think will be close to gold. That appears to be the right frame. Gold is 130 something, so he's got a chance. Then this one maybe could be a level 4 diamond. I kind of doubt it, but... He has the estimate. They are 197 for diamond, I think. So we'll try to get both. That'll be him. That was far back, but it dropped him. That's one of those species, and I think there's a couple of them. Seek a deer, probably Javelina. 
they should be class 3 and are just class 4 for whatever reason. And it makes it really, really easy to take them out with a weapon like the 308. But first, the probably silver, maybe gold, 128, so he is about 8 shy of making gold there. That probably helped us. The fact that he kind of was just starting to run, because I don't think we hit the lung unless he's kind of contorted exactly like that. I didn't see him start to duck and run, but go figure. You know what? Kind of cool the way that worked. I like that as a screenshot. And then our other one, probably going to be, I don't know, 180 anyway? 179.62. Hard shot him. Little easier when they're just standing still, but not half bad. A couple of pretty decent Seeker Deer, and I don't think we'll only hunt for them, because Fallow Deer do drink at the exact same time. So we'll try to go back and forth a bit, but we'll make sure we cover a good bit of Sika territory. What on earth? 263 to 315? Were we not down here? I know last time, like, when we came to visit Te Aoroa, after the reset and redistribution, we shot a Diamond Fallow Deer. I don't necessarily remember coming down here, but I would have... I mean, we wouldn't have missed that. So the question is, because the wind's not good, will they go nervous and come back? Or are we going to have to follow them around? Because it's going to lead out to here, which is a pretty open spot, but... I don't know, do we just hang around here a minute? I guess we can try. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the one we're after. Considering it looks like three feet wide up there, that is certainly our level five. I hope he ends up being good size. Up to 315 is a pretty good estimate, but I also wouldn't be shocked if he just scores right at 263. I think we can probably just make a hard shot at that angle. I'd like him to be a little bit sort of flatter as far as like the terrain he's on. Once it gets down into this, that should just be a little bit easier just to avoid that sort of dead zone between the lungs and above the heart. So once he slows back down, we will try to line that up. That'll do from the 308. And I mean, he's a guaranteed diamond. Diamond is 251, I think, same as Red Deer, if I'm not mistaken. And at a 263 minimum with the shot that we took, there's really nothing that can go wrong. So it just comes down to just how big he's going to be. And... Moment of truth for this guy, 263.55, somehow I felt like that was going to happen. 263 to 315, and he's 0.5 above the minimum, but straight hard shot, 116 meters. I feel like, in a way, that's the game making up for the 5 old Mallard that was just a disappointment. But that's pretty cool. Two hunts in a row, out here on Te Aroa where we shot a Diamond Fellow, we'll tax that for... The second lodge, anyway. And I guess we'll just kind of keep going out this way, at least to the end. And I suppose for the effort of going over here, we might as well get one of these two fellow bucks. About the same size, we'll just go for the one in the front. I would like him to slow down, just so we're not going to end up tracking a level three. Surely, before he goes out of sight, he will slow to a walk. Just was starting to think we might have to go for the shot, but that'll work. And then I guess... We'll check and see what the time is. It's probably closing in on 1300 anyway. In fact, it's just after, which is probably why they were just randomly walking away from the water. So maybe we'll just try a couple other spots, see if we can encounter some more mallards or something. But real quick, we'll grab our little bonus fellow, a 156 score. That was 230 meters, so we almost shot too low, but ended up lung liver stomach. And we'll get on out of here and try to go to somewhere we've not been yet. So my thought process was, because we had down here the piebald mallard and a, a bunch of mallards landing on this river, that maybe that would be the best place to encounter them just in their zones, but the entire way down along here, there haven't been any. Now this is kind of known for being one of the best red deer spots. There's a good size 7 over there. He is still beyond the spook range, so let's get this level 6. We'll probably get the 7 too. And I think those would be our last kills. I would have liked to have gotten some more mallards, but they don't seem to like it down here. So finally, we managed to alert to level 7 all the way to alarm. So he's ready to take off. More or less had to shoot under the chin of that hide. But, got both of our stags. 
I'm not sure how I feel about the Mallards as a whole, because that was kind of the entire point here. They are all over the map, and if you want to target them, I might say this is the best map to hunt them on. If you're looking to set up blinds and decoys and all that stuff, they really are all over the place. And because, say compared to Rev and Thule, they're the only waterfowl species here, you don't have to worry about running into other things. Now on Layton, you could probably have a similar experience, but I do think this is better than Layton just because of how the waterways are on this map compared to over there on Leighton Lakes. So when it comes to just a normal hunt and having them as opportunity kills, they're there, but we only saw like two zones. So I don't know how often you'd really get legitimate opportunities because again, and I think this is a good thing, with the waterfowl rework, they're just really hard to get out of the air when they're just flying by. I like it in general. I think it does add a bit to the map, but maybe not as impactful as some other maps getting other species. This guy though is not a bad level 7, 205 score, heart and liver, so right between the lungs, 96 meters away, and on that note, we'll jump back to the lodge with our fallow deer. And you know what? I like this. This ends up being kind of fitting. When Spring Creek Manor was the only lodge, our first ever diamond fallow ended up being exactly here. So I like that we've got it there, 263.5 from today. Two diamond fallow since the Te Auro resets and redistribution. And I'm sure we'll have to go back at some stage. I still really want an albino Sika deer. I'd love another gold rare fallow other than an albino or a bigger albino than what we've got. And certainly there are still fallow deer, red deer, and Sika deer all over the map. So we'll be heading back there sometime in the near future. And maybe, just maybe, if we can find another good sized female mallard, it won't disappoint us with being a rare but still just a silver. But anyway, that is officially going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.